hello and uh, welcome to Town Talk. I'm your host, Rose Highland Sharp. This very inspirational program is brought to you by Highland Communications for storytelling, entertainment, music, and much more. Call at 910-528-0718. Stay tuned for the third annual Fellow Men's Club Community Honors Banquet. Honorees include Pastor Emeritus Lillian Jackson Kearns for Lifetime Achievement, Clergy Pastor Gentry Winfield, Humanitarian Mrs. Nessie Smith, Community Service Mrs. Joyce Jackson, Community Activist Ms. Kim Wade, Business Community Mr. Chris Thomas, and of course Mr. James Moore with the Fellow Men's Club. Coach James Moore to be exact. Great gospel music provided by the Reverend Dr. Paul G. Murphy, the Voices of Unity Community Choir, and Mr. Andrew Monroe. Special comments and introductions including those by Coach James Moore, Professor Cynthia Ann McDonald, Coach Nathaniel Carter, oh yes, Coach Carter, and yours truly, the Reverend Rose Highland Sharp. Special thanks to the decorator, Kim Mormon and her associates. Food preparation, of course, provided by the Fellow Men's Club. And a great big thank you to Marlon Chalmers, the president, and to all the gentlemen in the organization for your service to our community of Moore County, North Carolina, and surrounding areas. Stay tuned for the third annual Fellow Men's Club Community Honors Banquet on Town Talk TV. Two and nine reads. We are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should shoot forth the praises of him who hath called you out of the darkness and into his marvelous light. Good afternoon, God's peculiar people. Amen. All right. All right. <laughs> Y'all playing would not be okay for us. <laughs> but God's peculiar people, good afternoon.
I thank you for giving us that in the name. Who is looking not just to pour in to the good things that I will get at home. But I pray for the wisdom that we can reach the young people and build a legacy. That they will know that they are men, not drug dealers. They are men, not women abusers. They are men, godly men. And I have to be strung out on any substance. But I pray that you use all these men to spread your gospel of love, teaching, building unity, and creating an atmosphere of fellowship. Bless them with us on the sound of my voice. And I pray that you will open up doors right now. And Father, bless the food that we're about to receive. Bless the hands that prepare. Bless it to be a nurse in our lives. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 We're going to ask that the honor of the ladies go to the fiction thing first.
I need all the power in the forces united to come up to the stage, please.
here. Life lessons. 
um, the life lessons that you know that, that he taught me. Um, you know, he even took me to his wife. I mean, man, you know, just phenomenal, just a phenomenal woman. You know, spent many times in her office. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenal. You know, and, and when I first came back to start working at the Boys and Girls Club, there was one teacher that I looked for in particular, and that was Miss Murphy. And I just saw her go through the line, and I didn't see her anymore. Miss Murphy. Is she, in, is she still here? Miss Murphy. There she is. Yes! Yes! I mean, man, such wonderful, wonderful people that have made such a tremendous impact in my life. And I mean, you know, I'm 39 now, and just to be able to look back and just see these people still pushing, still doing great things. You know, it is a wonderful thing. Let's give all of you a big hand. Our first um, award today will be going to Mr. Chris Thompson. And I'm going to ask um, Thomas, excuse me. Um, and I'm going to ask him, uh, Brother Marcus will come at this time uh, to not only receive this award, but to also say some things about him. Let's give him a big hand. Good evening. Good evening. Chris couldn't be with us tonight. He's had a heart family emergency and he wanted to make sure he, he told everyone and thanked everyone for thinking of him and being appreciative of the business and uh, all the things he provides for the community. And on behalf of Chris and Blanche Barbershop, thank you. All right. Our next award is our humanitarian of the year. And that goes to Miss Nessie Smith. Let's hear her She's unable to be here today, but we, we, we are glad that her son is here. Let's receive him as he comes. Nancy Smith is also an uh, awesome and phenomenal woman. She um, works in the uh, funeral home business, uh, but you know she, she, she's a business owner. She's the one that cares about her community. And we're going to let her son come and just receive this award and just say some things on her behalf. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Obviously, obviously, I'm not Nancy Smith, but I am her son. We. My mother could not be here, she's under the weather, and uh, she sends her love and appreciation for this award. Uh, I've been with my mother for 59 years, <laughs> a long time. <laughs> and uh, she gives and expects nothing in return. Nothing in return. And uh, she, she, she's a good person, a good person. And she, I say, she's just who she is. And if you know her, you know her. And if you don't, get to know her. And uh, on behalf of my mother, uh, I accept this award from the uh, fellow men's club, and may the Lord continue to bless each and every one of you. Thank Amen. you. All right. This next award goes to a friend of mine, um, known for a long time, long time. One of the things that I am very big on, it is important if you say that you are a man of God, that your life lines up with the word. Let me say that to you again. If you say that you are a man of God, it is important that your lifestyle lines up with the word. And in this day and time, you know, it's very rare to find true men and women of God. But I thank God that this man, I've known him, and I have found him to be a true man of God. Because any man that will look at himself first, before he look at you, to make sure he's right, that's the true sign of a man of integrity. And today we're going to be honoring our clergy of the year award. And it goes to my brother, my friend, Pastor Gentry with me. I'm going to get 
get in two minutes, because you know you get a preacher and Mike, and they get the talk on. <laughs> This might be the only time that I am stunned. And I'm not going to stay a bit long, just a few minutes. I just, I just want to give honor to God and um, give honor to you all uh, because I am a part of our community. Um, I didn't get here by myself. I got here through your hard work. I got through here. I got here with your grandfather and my father and your uncles and your grandmothers, um, part of, of, of the community, this is what you see here. Um, so I try to do my best to do everything that's right and, and not to embarrass you and plus not to embarrass God. Amen. So who you see here is what you have raised. Amen. Amen. So I want to say thank you. I also want to say thank you for my wife who has to put up with me. Right. <laughs> and I want to thank the um, these guys here, I know each and every one of these gentlemen right here, they are fine gentlemen. And I want to thank them for just having this um, fine organization um, and just doing these honors and, and just letting people know that, you know what, Southern Pines is not as bad as you think it is. We have some awesome people who come out of the West Southern Pines area. And I take my hat off to each and every one of you who made this day possible. Thank you. Let's give him another hand. Our community service award goes to a woman that goes above and beyond. Above and beyond. I'll never, I'll never forget when the Boys and Girls Club uh, organization partnered with Trinity to have a facility for our younger kids. And this young lady, I mean, man, she was painting, she was moving stuff, I mean, stuff that I was struggling with. She was. <laughs> but she shows such dedication, not only for a church, but for a community. You know, and I mean, you may be mad with me, but I, I think this woman deserves a standing ovation <laughs> just for being who she is in our community. Can we stand in honor of Miss Joyce Jackson? Thank you. 
going to ask that if this Ann McDonald will come. Ms. Ann McDonald. Let's give her a big hand. She up. Well, I have a, 
and privilege. Don't you make me cry. <laughs> and by the way, God bless each of you. Yes. Like, uh, those I grew up with, those who've been like a parent, teacher, little brother, pastor, teacher, everybody in their place and space. I'm blessed to be able to introduce to you Pastor Emeritus Lillian Ruth Jackson Kirk. Yeah. We are family friends. And her daughter, Dr. Arlene Curtis Dowdy, gave me a write up. So I'm going to kick up some people. Yeah, she, she wrote quite a bit. Mother, so I got to pick up and some pieces. So this thing I will share with you all. I had never seen a woman preacher, pastor, when I was coming up. I didn't think it was possible, and I knew I had that call on my life as a wee little gal. There's one other lady in our community of Tableltown that's, God bless her soul, Julia Ray. Missionary Julia Ray. She was the closest thing down here in the Church of God in Christ. But then there was Lillian Jackson Kearns. Glory, glory, glory. Yay. And your daughter and your other children do call you blessed. They say you are the epitome and example of the Proverbs. 31, virtuous woman, precious gift. Daughter, mother, grandma, big sister, community chef, baker, centrist, pastor, teacher, evangelist, missionary, been all around the world to Africa and then some of the Middle East, my God, my God, through many of the states, including Alaska. <laughs> she worked for 28 or more years in Moore County Schools as a teacher assistant, and also she drove the bus. That took a lot of nerve. <laughs> yes, we thank God for that journey. <laughs> my God, my God. She will always say, when she would visit the rest homes and reading and talking and praying and singing with the airplane, that her theme song through the years has been, May the Work I've Done. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Right. 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 <laughs>
grandchildren, great grand, let's see now, let's see, 10 children, 27 grand, 39 great grand, and one great great. To God be the glory. That seed is still with us. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Her home is the home of the many strangers and everybody else and a hard worker. And we know she did retire from Boyd County Schools and she's done other work, but they call her the queen. A native woman of honor. And honey, dress, 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 and a lady of many ass dresser. Dress very well. But it's the insides my mother would say that counts. Hallelujah. She's all that and much more. So I introduce to you and to many and say congratulations, my dear, for your work, for your continued work, for being that example of the Proverbs 31st virtuous woman. And we do rise up and call up this. Everybody, Pastor Emeritus, Miriam Group, Jackson.
such an awesome woman, such an awesome woman. I remember her as a little boy as well. Mm -hmm. Growing growing up in the United Church of God, church that I'm I am a foundational member of St. Mark United Church of God, mm -hmm. Pastor Mount Kerr. Oh, wow. uh -huh. So uh -huh. to see her, I mean oh, man, I remember when she used to be happy as a little boy. She did jerk in that hat come off. But I thank God for her. Amen. I thank God. Amen. At this time, we're going to call, amen, Coach Carter. We're coming at this time to introduce our fellow Edge Club of the Year Award. Let's give him a big hand. That's good.
who went on to be with the Lord a year ago. She's not with us physically, but she is with us in spirit. I'm proud to be honored by the uh, fellow men's club on the third annual community honors banquet. Third, and you had an auspicious beginning. You know, this is the third. And I see some of the recipients in the inaugural uh, honors banquet, and you know, those from last year. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to congratulate you for receiving your honors. And I would like to commend the club for all the positive things you're doing in our community. And I think uh, Rose mentioned it. You know, it's, it's, it makes you feel proud to see a group of African Americans that, do, that are doing positive things yeah, yeah. in our community. And you are a great example of that. And I commend you for that. Although I've slowed down a little bit, and I, I'm not quite as active as I've been in the past, I will continue to support all the positive activities that uh, uplift things in our community, things that make our community better. And today, looking out and seeing everyone here, I like to in, encourage everyone who's present, all the citizens of Moore County, to become more active in the spiritual, social, educational, political, mm. and cultural activities in the community in which you live. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, your participation can, and your participation will make a difference. We have, but it's more important now than ever, from the national level or down to the local level. Mm -hmm. You know what's happening, you see all the TVs, things are going on nationally, but a lot of things that are going on locally mm -hmm. that we need to be at home and we need to address those things. And the only way to do that is our presence and our input. And you don't want to wait and say, <coughs> you want to be proactive instead of reactive. Mm -hmm. So please stay in tune. Your, all your social media news outlets, and when you have meetings and you have things that's, that's going to affect you, to affect all of us in our communities, I encourage you, please be a part of that. So, again, I'd like to thank the fellow men club for recognizing me in this, uh, on, on this great occasion. At this time, go stand and give all the honorees of the king.
my Vice President, Marcus Yancey, <laughs> my Secretary, Van Ross, <laughs> my Treasurer, James O. Chalmers, <laughs> starting from my left, Minister Leroy Payton. oldest member, which he saw something in us to want to be a part of. Come on now. Go ahead. All right. Brother Larry Ross. <laughs> Minister Dion Aldridge. Now this young lady 
kids who from another program, but we're not worried about the way you look, we, we worried about what you did. Can y'all please give Harlem Sandy a raise, please? Thank you, Pastor Henry, for, for giving us prayer. And I thank you for extending the word to me every Sunday. I just give the Lord honor and praise for who he is in my life. So I know y'all probably do too. So at your, at your own convenience, you give the Lord what you want to give. Oh, I'm going to give them all. So we're going to close out with this. Everybody in their place and space. Down Talk TV. April 7th, 2019. To God be the glory. Thank you so much for tuning in to Town Talk. I'm Rose Highland Sharp. And as always, I hope you enjoy the show. And honey, remember, some way by God's grace and mercy, if you're walking the walk, you'll be on Town Talk. Take care. God bless. Town Talk airs daily at 11 a.m. on WYBE-TV, Spectrum Cable 3, Southern Pines, North Carolina, and on Rose Highland Sharp YouTube. It is a service to the community.